With all of the recent GPU launches, it's been even more clear how important the CPU actually is as well, bottlenecks and things like that. Obviously, cooling and thermal issues have been an issue for a long time. That's why I just wanted to talk about this a little bit. Be Quiet sent me this, the Light Loop AIO. This is going to be the 360 millimeter version. Comes in black or white, even a 240 millimeter version. So there are two things here, the cooling and then obviously the aesthetics. The cooling is super important even on like a 9800 x3d let's say you're pairing that with the latest 5090 you're like the one lucky person that was able to get one while the 9800 x3d isn't really particularly hard to cool even one of the air coolers can do it imagine a 5090 shooting all that hot air inside your case that's going to be 575 watts of just an intense amount of heat and an air cooler will not be able to handle that really really nearly as well as something like an aio just because you can position an aio in your case to either take some of that air out obviously you're going to have like three fans connected to it that you can do a lot of different airflow optimizations you can prioritize your gpu temperature by putting your CPU as an exhaust, for example. Or if it's not that big of a deal, you can, you know, obviously put your CPU as intake, which may slightly raise temperatures inside your case. For most GPUs, this would be fine. Something like a 5090, I would definitely probably put everything as an exhaust for like your CPU, just because the 9800X3D, typically, especially with a 360 AIO, even a 240 will handle it fine. And now let's hear a word from our sponsor, VIP-CDKDeals.com, a Windows Pro CD key. Add to cart, you put in code CC20. This will also work on Windows 11. You wanna go into your settings in Windows, change and adjust your CD key click activate and now let's go back to the video obviously then we have the aesthetics part if you have a 5090 you want it to look good this be quiet light loop uh, aio is one of the best looking ones that i've seen like the water pump um, that's on the water block of the cpu is really gorgeous you would think it's like a cheap plastic if you didn't grab it in your hand but when you touch it it's very high quality even the the little connections of the tubing to the cpu block look fantastic and they certainly complement something that has you know a high-end gpu in it or, or any gpu for that matter it just computer stuff just looks good especially when it's you know great quality like this be quiet has been known to really focus on cooling their their fans are legendary i've used them like way before a lot of the uh you know the water cooling and the rgb stuff was even popular today with some of their earlier fans the noise to performance ratio has always been fantastic they're not you know extremely expensive they're very nicely priced the one thing that always got me are the nifty little features like for example on this aio it actually has a refill port and they even give you the coolant if you want to refill it at some point later on i've never actually even had to do this but let's say you wanted to like flush out the loop in there if you've had it a few years that's something you can do so that's something that's going to last a very very long time now with something like their cases i remember they had all these cool little things that were unique like you know you can you can reverse how the motherboard is going to be you can put it upside down and invert it stuff like that and then when you actually work with the case you would see how they engineered all the little connections and an aio like this aside from looking really great the these are the the light loop lx fans um that they that comes included the 120 millimeter versions very silent they have a good amount of airflow and static pressure for the radiator um, and once again this comes in white or black so you can pretty much match almost any build that you do because even if you do like a multicolored build or red or blue black or white always fits in there pretty nicely the rgb and fan hub now this isn't something that used to come with AIOs, but a lot of them do now, especially some of the Be Quiet ones. So basically everything is going to have all your fans, including the, the CPU block, the CPU pump, have the PWM connector. And then you're also going to have your, you know, ARGB. This is addressable RGB. That's the three pin variety. Most new motherboards will have the three pin RGB as well as the older four pin, which was, you know, the, the regular RGB that it sort of started with. And most of the motherboards also have the addressable RGB, which is a little bit better, three pins. So this uh, fan, hub uh, you know rgb hub uh, you're going to be able to plug in up to you know six devices here so it's more than enough for your fans 
um, you have three fans and then the you know the RGB pump you can then of course you also be able to add like uh, an exhaust fan in the back of your case if you have other airflow fans you'll be able to add them in there what CPU are you using is it Intel the Intel CPUs could definitely benefit more from an AIO um, even though I think the AMD stuff to keep it from thermal throttling um, especially in a hot case that has like a newer GPU in it definitely has its benefits let me know what what CPU and cooling that you're using if you're still using air cooling um, or if you're thinking about going to an AIO you can't put three RGB fans on an air cooler so that's a, a big benefit for those that want that visual pizzazz and everything like that so um, all right guys so let me know what you think and I'll see you guys on the next video